Hey guys, Demi got here with some gigantic gameplay showing off Lord Nasus the Beast and Gigantic itself has gotten a huge overhaul that I'm probably going to be talking about in a different video but not this particular video today. In this particular video guys, I'm going to say it loudly, I'm going to say it proudly and say it if you're with me, I am proud to be a gamer right now and you're probably thinking why am I saying this? Well first off, there's been many 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 games released in the past few months. Now, I know we had our gaming droughts in 2013-2014 when the gen was just beginning. In 2015, the ball started to get a little, little roll to it. But in 2016 and on, the ball has been rolling non-stop consistently. Now, yes, it's been a lot of games releasing. Just this previous Tuesday, we had 7 Days to Die inside. Tech Romancer, Star Ocean 5, and many, many more smaller titles released. Now, if you're a gamer like me, and you play anything and everything, which some of you probably don't, but I play anything and everything I can get my hands on, you're like, wow, there's so much releasing, so much you're trying to keep up with, so much you're trying to keep your wallet happy against and not try to buy anything like that. You're just shocked, stunned, appalled, stupefied at by how much is really, really released. Now, me, myself, as a reviewer, I'm trying to review everything as possible for you guys. I'm trying to really review games coming out trying to keep up with everything that is coming out i know i've missed a couple titles and some titles might be late in reviewing but i know that it's a lot of games coming out people cannot say that we don't have anything releasing that there isn't anything coming out for anybody to play that people aren't going to be satisfied with what's coming out because man look i am there's so much dropping so much to play so much to truly get your hands on that you you have a lot to play honestly you have just four games released this past week. Four more games to drop this week. Then you have stuff coming out in July, August with Deus Ex, Attack on Titan, a couple other games coming out around that month. Then you have September with XCOM 2, Bioshock Collection, uh, the Bioshock Collection, which just got announced today, literally. Um, Final Fantasy 15. I forgot in August you even have No Man's Sky. I had to take a step back because it, it, it's games I'm forgetting already. There are so many games releasing. So much to play. So much to get your hands on. So much to have. That you can't say that there isn't any games releasing. That there isn't anything that you're going to like to play. That there isn't anything out for somebody to enjoy. Because all gamers are getting something that they can get their hands on. No matter what kind of gamer you are. No matter if you're a JRPGer, Western RPGer. Um, action adventure person, a straight up first person shooter. If you like your stories to be told, if you like um puzzle games, it's a lot for everybody coming out. And people cannot say, oh, there isn't anything for me to play. I don't have anything to enjoy. I don't have anything to really get my hands on. Because that is a lie, man. That is a, a, a straight up lie. Because there is so many games that's releasing these next few months that it's hard to keep up. Hell, it's hard to keep up now with everything that's dropping. Man, I, I, I have a hard time trying to review certain games that are just oh, dropping, 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 dropping. And if you got a PS4, you have exclusives dropping damn near every other day. And not to say the Xbox doesn't have anything dropping, because the Xbox does have things dropping. They've been dropping indies like crazy. I know most, most people don't like count indies as certain titles and things like that, but I'm going to count them as titles because I, I play indies. I love indies. Indies make the smaller world go round when there's wait for AAA titles or anything like that. But with the way games are releasing now, there is no way for big AAA titles because you have a AAA title coming out practically every month that's about to come out. Now, trust me, guys, I don't really don't do videos like this. You know me. You know how I am. But I had to show love to gaming today. I had to bring out the gaming talk because I love games in general. I love them. I love to play them. I love to get my hands around them. I love to touch them, smell them, feel them. Okay, it's going a bit weird down the line, but I love gaming in general. And the fact that we have so many games dropping, releasing, so many games I'm getting my hands on, so many games that's just coming out to play, to love, to enjoy. I'm satisfied with everything that's happening. I know people say that they hate the rehashes, the reboots, the ports, everything that's been like been getting pulled over from the 360 and PS3 era to now. But hell, 
if they're if they're pulling them over for those who want to enjoy them again let them pull it over let them let the people who say they miss these old games on 360 and ps3 enjoy the games that they've missed while certain people get their hands on newer titles some people get to enjoy the older ones that they really love playing back then as well now i have a few things i want to get ported over myself i'm not gonna lie to you guys but that's a different video for a different day but we have so much dropping that i can't even I can't even fathom how much I'm going to be spending over the next couple months. I can't even fathom how much I've spent alone already because I've dropped some I've dropped some 60 bucks on some titles already that I haven't even gotten to dip in, dwell on, play anything of that nature yet. But man, it is a great time to be a gamer. Very great time. You have a lot of titles releasing between now and December, you have literally that just dropped Star Ocean 5 on the PS4, Inside on Xbox One, Tech Romancer for both consoles, um, Seven Days to Die. Then I don't, I'm not sure what's coming out in July. I'm not too particularly sure of that. Then in August, you have Deus Ex, No Man's Sky, Attack on Titan. Then in September, you have XCOM 2, Final Fantasy 15, the Bioshock Collection, which as a Bioshock fan myself, I am definitely getting day one. You can't tell me that you guys aren't getting it. You have Record in September as well. Then you have, oh, you have Forza Horizon 3. Then in October, you have The Last Guardian, Gears of War 4. Um, Mafia 3, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, then in November you have Watch Dogs 2, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, you got, wait, in, in October you have the Skyrim Remaster as well, so many games guys, so many games, so many games to get excited about, so many games to rejoice over, so many games, no matter what you play, you're getting satisfied on every occasion in every account let's see in november you have Watch Dogs 2 call of duty infinite warfare i believe dishonored 2 comes out in november if not the if not um november then october then in december you have steep i believe then south park the fractured butthole then what else um i can't even remember i have to go over a list because i can't even remember every game that's coming out but it's a lot coming out, guys. I, I feel like if you aren't rejoicing at least about one game coming out, then I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I understand that people say, oh, this generation's just been boring and stuff. I, I can't I can't I can't fully agree with that. I've been satisfied by some games that's been coming out recently. I've been satisfied by some of the games that's come that I missed out on last year and the year before that that I finally got to pick up and play. I have been satisfied this gen. I've been satisfied by many games, and I'm still satisfied by Killer Instinct, and that the support that game's been getting over the time it's released till now. I'm satisfied by Street Fighter V. I'm satisfied by many a game. Hell, I'm satisfied by Gigantic, even though it's had its problems, and we've been going through the back and forth and the Okie Doke and Doozy Doze and whatever has been going on in Motiga Studios. But now that we're back, we're finally getting into something. Now, guys, if you agree with me, Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you guys excited for any games coming out soon? Are you guys excited for the gaming in general right now? Let me know because it's it's a lot of it's a lot of things coming out that I'm excited for. You know, I'm just gonna say my top three to five games that I'm excited for: Final Fantasy 15, Watch Dogs 2, Deus Ex, Recore, and um, I'm gonna hold number five to The Last Guardian and. Gears of War 4. I'm going to hold number 5 to those two particular titles. But yes, guys, if you're excited for anything, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Are you guys excited for any game that's releasing currently or any game that's going to release down the line? Are you guys excited about the games that's coming out? Are you guys feeling like it's just another rehash that this gen is boring, that it, there's nothing to play? Let me know. Also, I have many reviews coming for you guys. Inside review coming sooner than you think, probably tomorrow or Saturday. That'll be coming to you guys. Then I have the Mighty Number no. 9 review. Then I have my Mirror's Edge review. Then I have a lot of reviews coming that I probably have missed in the past couple of months. Ratchet and Clank, Dark Souls 3, Doom, whatever the case may be. I'm still going to be giving you guys those reviews no matter how late they are. Even my Overwatch review that I'm still working on. Though that, that review is going to be dope. Also, if you're a fan of the Let's Plays, my Let's Plays that's going to be coming 
in July will be my first ever PS4 Let's Play of Heavy Rain. We're going to be going through that together, chapter by chapter, story by story, character by character. I, I'm excited to play it. I know we're gonna, it's going to be a good time between you and me. I know that we're all going to love it. So I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay ride out, guys. Now, I ask, are you a fan of what's going on currently? Are you a fan of anything that's coming out? Do you guys feel like you're excited for anything coming out? Let me know. Drop a comment below in the comment section. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Are you excited for anything coming out? Are you excited for gaming in general? Do you feel like this is just a boring generation overall? Are you bored of anything? Are you just bored in general of gaming? Let me know. Talk to me, guys. And until next time, and until next video, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. I'm out, and I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay ride out. Thanks, guys. I'm out. Strike down.